I've worked so hard to climb that ladder in life as a woman of color, as a human being on this planet, regardless of gender, race, and identity. Life is not easy, and especially in the kitchen. What it is to be a chef, it's him for me. So the first time actually that I met Gordon Ramsay was when I was working for Joël Robuchon. And I remember specifically seeing him walk through the kitchen and he walks in and he's like checking our mise en place and looking around and I'm like, what is my life right now? Like that was a big moment, right? We didn't exchange like words. I'm, I'm, I'm a nobody. Like in my mind, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's Joël Robuchon and Gordon Ramsay standing next to me. Like, what is my actual life? I remember that day I thought, wow, I'd love to work. I'm not gonna cry. Oh my God. <laughs> I'd love to work with Gordon Ramsay one day. And that's happening now. All of you, please welcome one of So Cal's brightest young culinary stars, the legendary Naisha Arrington. I went on MasterChef and I was one of the legends, right? So that was an amazing pivotal moment for me because I felt like I could just truly be a chef and I can feel the presence of Gordon. And I remember when we even finished and we walked up set, he came down and he shook my hand and he said, wow, girl, like, who are you? And he gave me this big hug and like tears came out of my eyes. And like, it was a big moment. <laughs> Amazing. Do you mind? I'm so sorry. I'm Please. Like, sort of, uh, I'm dying to begin. This is a, uh, it's so special, right? So that girl on the line, who was full of insecurities, felt like she didn't belong, and then and then strived for success, and then attained it to now. Actualizing that is, um, words can't describe that feeling. <laughs>